All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. Assume the feeling of the wish fulfilled. You must assume that you already are what you want to be and then live by faith in this assumption. Make your future dream a present fact by assuming the feeling of the wish fulfilled. So whatever it is that you would like to experience in your life, this, remember, your imagination is yours. Everything that now exists was once imagined. Therefore, everything that is going to exist must first be imagined. Henry David Thoreau had probably the greatest definition of success that I have ever heard. He said, if you advance confidently in the direction of your own dreams, and endeavor to live the life which you have imagined, you will meet with a success unexpected in common hours. It will chase after you if you can place into your imagination what it is that you would like to attract and begin to feel it. That which you feel yourself to be, you are. And you are given that which you are. So assume the feeling that would be yours were you already in possession of your wish. And your wish must be realized. So live in the feeling of being the one you want to be and that you shall be. Every feeling makes a subconscious impression. And unless it is counteracted by a more powerful feeling of an opposite nature, it must be expressed. Your feelings are different from your thoughts. Your feelings are what you experience in your body. The dominant of two feelings is the one expressed. Every feeling that you have makes a subconscious impression upon your body and upon your awareness. Now you. You need to understand the subconscious mind of yours. Your subconscious mind Training your subconscious mind and your subconscious mind it responds to what it is that you suggest to it now the intriguing thing about your subconscious mind your habitual mind is that um, it can't make a distinction between what it is that you are feeling 
as a result of what you have placed into your imagination and assumed the feeling of it and what you are experiencing every day in your life. If you tell, if you go around feeling unhappy, depressed, miserable, sad, whatever, if you, your subconscious mind says, oh, so this is what it is that you would like to attract into your life. And the universal subconscious mind to which we were all connected, that we call the creative source of the universe, the divine mind, God, the Tao, whatever you might want it to be, and it will begin to offer you experiences that match up to what it is that you are feeling. So your body responds to what it is you place into your subconscious mind. You have to retrain it. If I've programmed into my subconscious mind feelings of poor me, I can't do anything about my life. Other people are responsible for the reason why I can't get myself happy and healthy and, and so on. If I, if I live with that kind of consciousness within me, you're going around feeling it all the time. Your feelings create the destiny that you want. If this assumption is persisted in until it becomes your dominant feeling, the attainment of your ideal is absolutely inevitable. And what's the paramount feeling that you want to have? The feeling of love. Love is the feeling you must assume. Your imagination is able to do all that you ask in proportion to the degree of your attention. So what kind of attention do you place on your desires? There are two kinds of attention according to Neville. Subjective attention and objective attention. Subjective attention is different from objective attention. You want to use subjective attention, not objective attention. Neville says there's an enormous difference between attention directed objectively and attention directed subjectively. And the capacity to change your future depends on the latter. Whatever you have placed into your imagination, you always go to your reality and call that which does not exist as if it did. You'll see it when you believe it. You'll see it when inside you have a knowing. You, and only you, capital Y-O-U, are the subject that impacts the burning desire in your imagination. You are living and feeling as if your future dreams are a present fact. Objective attention, you become the objectified result of other people telling you what you can't do, what's impossible and so on. Subjective attention, mine is mine. I, I have an image that I use, I call it the super glue method. And when I have an intention about what it is, including doing this program, when I have an intention about making this program a reality, and it involves a lot of money and a lot of, a lot of expense, a lot of people, a lot of things have to come together. It involves going over into my writing space every single day, never giving up on it. For even if I don't feel like writing, four or five hours every single day, because I super glue, I super glue my intention into my imagination. And I don't allow anybody else's opinions to do anything to distract from that. I don't care if they tell me I can't do it or if it's impossible or it'll cost too much or we can't do it. My intentions are super glued there. And I have that do not disturb sign placed on my imagination and it is mine. Use this. Don't allow anybody else's opinions. Don't allow what it says on the internet. Don't allow the research. Don't allow what anybody out there tells you is possible or not possible for you. If you would like to accomplish something, you must first expect it from yourself. Every one of you, you are a spark that can grow until you recognize that you truly are divine beings. Because in every moment of your life, you have this choice. You can either be a host to God or a hostage to your ego. It's your call.